Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, it's a Pilgrim and welcome to my Treehouse Quetzalibre. I uh, got the idea for this place from a request by a guy called uh, Radiant Devil 28 It was on the community tab, I've been using that quite a bit lately, just chatting with people and showing off what I'm you know, working on, things like that. Uh, a few other people have also asked for like a Treehouse build, so this is sort of a mixer or two. Um, it's not exactly a conventional Redwood platform base because well basically there's this big tree right in the center here in the swamps and it's surrounded by ruins and the ruins can support cliff platforms so it just gives you like a, a bigger area and like a bit of a more level different level base um when you come to snap the actual platform to the tree in the middle it snaps about four or five walls from the uh, ground um, the actual area for this is around 39 19 you know on the coordinates so what i did was um i built like part of the base going around the ruins like you can see there i've got like a little barn and stuff um and i built like these stone structures that was look like they're holding the whole platform up and they're sort of built in and out of the ruins as well with some little like buildings and houses coming out from them because it was so close to the ground i could run pillars actually underneath the platform um, to support all the structures that were above it but I also built on the platform with some pillars as well just to show it, that it can be built if you like really high up in the redwoods but I'm planning on making another treehouse um, with a few more additions and a little bit of more in-depth video um, you know and actually do it in the redwood so I can explain it better then yeah what I'll do when, when we start building is I'll explain how to get the fence foundations in and line them up and then line up the support pillars with that with that and you, it just gives you like a really sort of neat uh, ground to work off you know to like build up around the whole platform um, yeah I'll explain that in a minute but the reason I did the rest of it as like a bit of a speed build I just sort of speeded the video up and I'm not really like gone really in depth how to build everything simply because my Atlas server's up um, and I really want to go and have a play on that and get some content out get some videos out well everyone's still searching for all the stuff about it um, but like I said I'm definitely gonna come back to this build and I'm gonna go to Redwoods and sort of totally redo the whole thing um, this is sort of like just look at it as a prototype yeah just like all the ideas that I had for it all sort of thrown into one place but it still it worked out pretty cool you know it's got loads of different levels to it it's got a look, I think, to that um, winter trader base I did in the back of the Titanosaur. You know, with all the different levels and different rooms everywhere. The Avery side of it's quite open, where all the Quetzals and stuff are. Um, I managed to get a pretty decent sized production area in, in here as well, just going through there now. Um, and I've also connected up most of the platforms to the cliff platforms that are on the edges as well, that are snapped to the ruins. So you can sort of travel between it all. Um, there's also like a bit of a half circle build I think I'm going to that now actually I'll show you it's like a bit of a hunting lodge but I've got loads of videos on how to build circles and things like that and it's really not a really complicated part of the build so I left that out of the video um, but if you want to build something like that on a cliff platform just go and check out one of the other videos here it is now like a little hunting lodge just to fill up the platforms to be honest <laughs> but yeah I've still got tons of ideas for that and I really want to carry on building on it I'm not going to sort of abandon it for Atlas um, anytime soon so yeah just have a quick run round um, I think that's pretty much it actually I think that's all I need to show you yeah all the stone pillars holding it up um, I sort of wanted them to like the integrated into the ruins so that was sort of the idea behind that um, other than that, the, the tree casts a lot of shadow 
So um, I put the gamma up a little bit while I was building, you know, so it was a bit brighter so you could see what I was doing. But other than that, guys, that's a little explanation of the build and the quick tour, and we can get on with it. You can see how dark it is under here at the moment. This is just before I put the camera up properly, but that's where exactly where it is. So 383 uh, 19 on Ragnarok. You can see there's a lot more trees around the place when I first started, but I kept getting Parasitherium spawning and knocking it all over the place. So where are we? 38? Yeah, left left hand side of the map. You can see the obelisk over there. So I'll get an idea where they are. There's the entrance to that big valley. There we have it. That's what it looks like before we get started. Give you a good reference to find it. You can't really see the runes and stuff when you're flying past. But there's the tree. That's where it, where the actual platform snaps to. Um, there's no other way you can sort of get it to snap any higher than that. But it worked out quite well because I've got to run the pillars underneath it to support it also. It's sort of got a different shape to most treehouse builds. Um, when you come to snap these cliff platforms in, if you do build on this spot, um, leave them till later, leave them till most of the base is built because when you put the stone foundations on the outside, you know, the ones that are sort of look like holding the base up, some of them clipped into the cliff platform, so I had to take them back down. But this was just sort of trying out the idea when I first got over it. Like I said, you can leave that till later. You can see a bit of a change in the brightness now. Um, I just put on the options and put the gamma up to about three or four. So I can see what I was doing. Right, once you've got the tree platform down, you've got these wooden struts that are sticking out, you know, sort of holding it up. Right in the corner there where the two meet, um, I sort of just followed the line up with a metal water pipe and just stuck it dead in the center and then get a wooden fence foundation and just line it up exact as you can um, on that line so you've got like, these two black strips going through it try and get it dead center on there and then just get the end of the fence foundation to just touch the, the pipe And then when you come to put a foundation in there, um, it just gives you a good corner. And when you come off the sides, the ceilings line up. So you get like a decent edge and then it, everything will overlap okay. Then if you come down to the middle here and count five wooden beams in to the center, get your center lined up. And then run it straight down to the edge and then get another metal water pipe and if you look just in the middle there's like a tiny little dot on the wood just sort of line it up with that but make sure it's like dead centre and then get your wooden fence foundation and you want to line that up so the right hand edge is just on the edge of the tree platform itself just see there and then get the the back end of the wooden fence foundation just so it's just clipping into the pipe and what you want to see is the two legs coming down um, are just sticking out from the platform not, like not totally flush so it's like a tiny little gap but once you get a, a couple of them done you'll be able to line it up that easy then you can snap wooden pillars to them and just run them straight into the ground. I said if you're building up on a redwood, you don't have to do this bit. But because of just like this area is really unique, so if you run the wooden pillars straight into the ground, you can then run the rest of the supporting ones underneath the platform. And it just gives leaves, leaves the whole area pretty much free to do what you want on. And that should line up your ceiling is really nice and straight. I was just testing this bit just to make sure the walls all lined up properly. So you get like a nice smooth angle on it. 
And I was thinking of running some ramps down to the ground, but I changed my mind later, so that's what I've been, yeah. Yeah, some of them don't want to snap, um, just press R and it'll keep sort of flicking it into finding a snap point and just move your camera around a little bit and you'll you'll get it. So yeah, the rest of the support for these now can go underneath, so just run it, uh, the pillars in a line. You'll we'll have three together there, one for the corner and the two sides, then the two sides meet there and then you'll only have room for one pillar at the end. Um, it really doesn't matter which angle you put it at, running from one of them two pillars. It'll provide the same support. And then the ones in the middle, just you can just run straight up to the tree, as close as you can get them. Now you can run ceilings straight across the top of the platform to snap the rest of your build to. You can just bring it to him from the corner and the rest of them just run sort of straight down to the this section here, I'll show you now. See that just lines up really nice and straight with that angle there. So you could put walls all the way around that and sort of cover the tree up or... Well, like I said, this, this tree is different from the redwoods. There's like a big root or a branch sort of growing right, right the way around it. And the ceilings won't snap through that bit, but you can snap ceilings behind it or, you know, between it. Um, so it just gives you a few more different ways to sort of design the, the floor pattern. Just have another run through how to put these foundations down so you've got an idea how you're doing it you know section after section i couldn't see the end of this thing properly so i just decided to take the light shafts and bloom off there we go you can see what i'm doing now and this section is just exactly the same as what you did before lining it up with that between the two black lines get the edge right lined up with the pipe try and get that as accurate as possible and all the scenes will line up really nice right the way around and count the five beams in stay in the center go to the middle it's like i said you'll see that little dot sort of almost dead in the center that then get your fence foundations lined up with the edge again get the back end just lined up so it's just snapping through the pipe you'll see you just got them them two sort of legs that come off it are just snapping through the platform there we go and then run the pillars down again and you're literally just repeating that process right the way around the build now right i don't think there's anything else that's like majorly complicated or anything um i'll jump in and explain everything if it, if it needs it if you've got any questions about the build just jump on the comment section and uh, leave me a question and yeah i'll get back to you about it or you can go on um discord try me on there right enjoy the build guys and i'll catch you later
I'm back. On this section here, I just wanted to show you that the foundations can be laid um, down onto the actual platform itself. You know, if you're using this idea of lining everything up, just so if you do get around to building this on a redwood, it, just, just to show you really what it's going to look like and how to do it. So yeah, I sort of cut off that, that whole section there and didn't build any pillars underneath just so it's got no support, no, just to sort of double check it would work. And start putting these stone walls around it. Put the stone walls down first. It gives you something to run the ceilings off. Um, if you put the ceilings on top of the foundations, the when you come to put the walls in, there's just a tiny gap between the ceiling and the actual platform the ceilings that are on the platform so you get like a gap all the time and it gets a bit annoying so if you press r there you'll see um see them two ceilings there they want to sort of snap to the pillars instead of the ceilings next to it so you just press r and you'll see it sort of drop down into the other ones that's what you want to do keep them all facing the same way and you'll still get that that good angle at the edge all the way around Having S plus in the game now just saves so many resources and materials. Gives you that sort of 30 seconds or 20 seconds, whatever it is, to just grab the piece quick. This section here um, didn't have any support on that corner bit, but what I did later, I just removed them ceilings and them walls. Um, just because when I came to put the stone foundations on the edges, you know, the ones that look like it's holding it up. Um, I did that one there. See, I was like one ceiling next to it. When I came to do the other side, there was two ceilings next to it. So I just removed them. This whole floor section here, um, you can see when you try and snap the foundation in, it wants to snap to the same level as the pillar behind it that's underneath the platform. But um, I figured out a little way of sort of getting the pillars to raise up um but i'll go through that later like if you want to go around the whole base and build these what i did was between the two angles you know like the corners where we put the um wooden fence foundation next to the pipe the ones that are at the angle to get that corner piece in um between every one of them these three pillars that are snapped to the ones that are going the other way so what all i did was pick the center one um, put a hatch frame on top of that and then run the walls up and um, just left doorways in because then you can run ladders up through each of them sections so you can climb up from the ground floor to the second floor and then climb up ladders to get onto the main platforms as well um, you can also see here where the cliff platforms clipped into it so that's why i said um, before don't place them yet get the whole thing built and then put your cliff platforms in Yeah, you can just see there where I've removed that single strip of ceilings and then just put the, the walls back in. There we go, it's just it's a bit more even now. And th that whole part is going to be sort of filled with um, greenhouse glass and some stone pillars, uh, a couple of dinosaur, stone dinosaur gateways as well. And that was just like the main, uh, the main production area. Just putting the cliff platform back in there.
Right, there we have it guys, all done and dusted. Let's have another quick fly around, um, show you any bits that I put in later. I've been round with some fence sections there on the little barn. Painted that in uh, brick colour and white. Uh, what else can we see? Put a couple of um, spiral staircases in. Put a load of like seating areas down and stuff like that. Some places to cook food. Um, the electricity for the place that's running to the production area I put one generator underneath the platform and then just ran wires around the whole entire build and just put the um, little plug sockets in here and there um, so I could just attach a few um, electric lights and things like that around the base do you need a bit of lighting underneath there yeah and that was sort of the main purpose for the place was the, the Quetzal area you can get a load of them in there got some forges there um, I did have a look at putting an, uh, an indie forge in but there was like no air for it really yeah, I know it was a bit of a rush job um, most of the video but if you've got any questions just leave me a comment I'll get back to you also um, Ark's just gone free on the Xbox Game Pass so you can check that out um, J Plays Games just done a video about it so I'll put a link in the description for you uh, other than that guys, yeah, check out the rest of my channel, leave like, sub, comment, all that sort of stuff, and thanks very much for watching, catch you later.